Hi, this is Wayne Zell, host of Blueprint for Wealth and founder and managing member of Zell Law in Reston, Virginia. In a charitable remainder trust, the donor contributes assets to the trust in exchange for payments for the term of the trust. The term either ends at the donor's death or upon expiration of a period of years. At the end of the term, the Charitable Remainder Trust is required to distribute its remaining assets to charity, a Section 501c3 organization under the Internal Revenue Code. The Charitable Trust may either be a unitrust or an annuity trust, and it's payable to the income beneficiary for the term. At the end of the term, as I mentioned, the balance of the trust assets are payable to charity. In a pooled income fund, the charity may also serve as the trustee of the trust. Charitable remainder trusts have become less important as the estate tax rates have dropped and exemptions have risen over the last several years. They result in very favorable tax consequences to the donor. First, the donor gets an income tax deduction equal to the present value of the remainder interest that goes to charity. That's calculated at the beginning of the trust. The deduction is limited to a percentage of adjusted gross income. If you contribute appreciated property to the trust, there's no tax on the subsequent sale of the property by the trust. And income received by the trust is generally tax exempt unless it's unrelated business income, which could be devastating to the trust and the beneficiaries. Of course, it results in significant estate and gift tax savings. To qualify as a charitable remainder trust, not less than 5% or more than 50% of the net fair market value of the assets must be paid to a non-charitable beneficiary. In addition, the charity's remainder interest, the amount that goes to charity, must be more than 10% of the assets that were transferred to the trust. Charitable, charitable remainder unit trusts must be revalued annually. There are different kinds of charitable remainder unit trusts. The straight CRUT, which is a percentage of the fair market value as it varies from year to year, but the percentage remains fixed. A net income makeup trust, which is the lesser of a set percentage or the net income generated by the trust, or a hybrid known as a flip CRUT. You can structure a charitable remainder trust to avoid estate and gift tax altogether. If you give a portion of the trust to a non-spousal beneficiary, you're going to need a waiver from the spouse. And you'll lose the tax exemption for the trust if you generate any unrelated business taxable income.